Jerry Clifton has been the Dover Downs track superintendent since 2002. He's well respected and appreciated by the management and harness racing community and extremely proud of his work making this 5 8 mile track fast and safe. Although Jerry was not familiar with the standard bread biz when he first was hired, his background and willingness to listen to horsemen has resulted in one outstanding oval. Grew up on a farm, knew about equipment, uh, had a background in uh, construction, working highway construction in Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, and I used a lot of that knowledge. Uh, you're working with stone, you're working with uh, compaction, and we did a lot of that when we built roads. So I just kind of applied that towards harness track racing. Those first few years is like, what did I do right? But I had, you know, over the years, Georgie Dennis, Eddie Dennis, uh, Eddie Davis, you know, they would say, you know, you ought to do this, you ought to do that. And they had a lot more knowledge about it than I did. So I was like, okay, well, we'll give that a shot. Uh, and it, it helped. I think, I think we did a well job. Jerry and his crew don't just show up a few minutes before post time each day and start conditioning the track. It's a process that begins hours before the starting gate wings fold on that first race. Usually starts around seven, eight o'clock in the morning, uh, depending on the weather. Uh, we'll come in, we'll scratch it open because we have training in the morning, uh, except for Wednesdays we have qualifying, but we'll, we'll come in, we'll prep the track for whatever horses are gonna show up. And some days there's quite a few, some days we don't hardly see any, but we set it up both same way. We'll run the conditioner, uh, apply stone as needed, water and roll the track, uh, get ready for the 430 post. And then during the night, it's whatever the track needs, weather conditions, uh, more stone, more water, screening. It, it's an unpredictable thing. Mother Nature does as she darn well pleases and you just have to kind of go with the flow and say, okay, mama, what are you gonna do to us today? and go from there. This is a limestone type of material. We use two different grades, a number nine and a, a larger one they call rice. I prefer the rice because it, in the inclement weather and rain, it keeps the horsemen up out of the slop a little better. Uh, horsemen prefer the smaller stuff just because it doesn't flap and slap them in the face so much. On a dry, windy night, we've had sunlight, we may put on, I've put on as much as 20,000 gallons of water in a race night. Stone-wise, we put on average about 50 tons a week just because they, they pack it into powder. They pound it into powder when they're racing and uh, we've got to replenish it, keep it up to grade. The Dover Downs Live Racing Meet takes place from November to the beginning of April. Then Motorsports takes it over for six months and by October, Jerry is back to work getting the track into excellent shape for the new season. In fact, the past couple of years, Jerry has put 700 to 800 tons of stone down to prep it for optimal performance. While our track superintendent says that safety is the number one priority of his job, he does love the fact that Dover Downs is known for being fast. But he's humble and refuses to take all the credit. Well, everybody talks about, you know, the, the, the track is great and you've got you know, record speeds and all that, but it, it takes more than just a track to get a record. You know, you've got to have, I, I always say there's five things that make a world record or a track record. And that's a good horse, a good driver, good trainer, good weather, and a good track. And for all five of those things to come into play to get good fast speeds and track record, it just, everything's gotta fall into place. I don't like horses to leave here at the end of the season without the lifetime best being a Dover Downs mark. I work real hard to, to when they leave here, I wanna see DD next to their all-time best. Doesn't always happen, but I do my darndest to make it happen. So I've always been an outside person. I've never been a person that stays, I just don't like being inside. Uh, of course, my, my joints are starting to tell me that, you know, you might want to be looking for something else, especially on those cold winter nights. But uh, it's just, you know, it just, it just kind of came natural. Uh, I, I love being outside. Uh, like seeing the horses go fast. You know, and I know if they've gone fast, then we've done our job.